I understand this is for secondary school? Yes. Yes, so that's children, kids between 13, yeah. 17, 18, something like that. Yeah, okay. And uh, probably not many of those have, have, have had anything to do with badminton. Uh, because badminton is, um, is what I already learned from the just small period I've been here for a month is that uh, a lot of kids actually play badminton during school but it's nothing that they take serious uh, and no one actually in New Zealand takes badminton very serious so uh, of course some is there's some going to the Commonwealth Games here in uh, actually it's, they're saying they're taking it seriously but they, if you look at it in an in international level they are not taking it seriously enough but uh, so that's also one of the reasons I'm, when I'm, why I'm here. Um, but to, um, to go into uh, the terms of conditions of playing badminton, of course, we have a badminton court, we have nets and all that. But if you want to kind of develop uh, your kids, your students to play badminton, then what you just saw here, Jennifer and I was doing on court is totally, totally forbidden to do. <laughs> uh, because to start out, and I know that that's actually what everybody, if I just say to all of you now, grab a racket, drag, grab a shuttle, you start to hit over the net, playing strokes from up here, from overhead strokes. And uh, that, is, that is so bad to do that. Why? Tactical stuff from starts, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good point over here. And what what does happen when we just start hitting overhead strokes? Yeah. But what do happen with your grip? Now I'm just going that direction. What happened with your grip when you start hitting over, overhand strokes, overhead strokes? What will be the most natural way to hold a racket? Ah! Let's see here. You can try. Yeah, it's easier if you come and grab a racket. You're gonna use it. Yeah, come on. Just take a racket. the right way you think but yeah there's always a but and the problem is that if you start making this mistake with your grip holding the racket just taking it here and playing like this and have your racket like this that will with guarantee make some problems if you want to develop playing badminton in the future trying to get better trying to improve your skills because that is totally wrong way of holding your rackets 
So, but it's of course natural because if I'm actually supposed to hold my racket right, it doesn't make sense to make overhead strokes at all. Because the right, I'm still holding my racket like I just take it from the floor. But if I have to hold my racket correctly, I need to turn this like this. So I actually just say hello to my racket. So I just take my racket, say hello to it, as I was supposed to say hello to you. Hello. So I just take my racket here, say hello to my racket. But that doesn't make sense at all. Because then I cannot hit. I can probably do good enough. Uh, but that's because you, in Bamson, you need for, for providing some energy to give some speed in the shuttles. Then you, of course, need to rotate. So you need to use your legs, your core, your arm, your shoulder, your back, everything. So you need to rotate and make this rotation. But, as I said, if you start hitting, like for a 13-year-old, for a 6-year-old, it doesn't make sense to hold the racket because you cannot hit it if you just start hitting like this. But if you play badminton for one year, two years, holding a racket like this, you just keep on doing it for the rest of your life. So we need, if you want to develop your players, your kids, your students, we need to hold the racket like this. So the best way actually to teach students to new badminton players is actually just no nets at all, uh, just playing strokes like this to begin with because then and use both sides of the racket oh. so just playing here 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 and then when they actually it's, it's possible for them to hit a lot of times and make them make a competition say how many can you and I can make 30 how many you can I can make 40 and you just go on and then you can start of course making it is was he it was more difficult for them, different kind of shot because this will help them develop the, the skills of the grip of because badminton is also if you just look for it on further way you have to change your grip and you cannot just hold this grip all the time so this is kind of the truth but it's also a little bit of a lie but this is the right way to have it and from this position you change your grip depending on where you are on court so this is the the first grip that you'll learn your, your, kids, your kids to have, or your students to have, this is the grip to have. Like I said before, just say hello to your racket. So when we have done this with uh, a lot of these kind of strokes, we could actually go in and... Uh, could go in here, and again it's still... It's, not, it's forbidden to make strokes up here, so we just play up here at the net. So we just play like here, sorry, that's fine. So we just play just like here, yeah, soft and easy, don't hit that hard. Just here, and just above, underneath your head, underneath your shoulder, like this, soft and easy. Because again, we will challenge the students, the kids here, to change the grip. And, we've, and when we have done that, we could actually start slowly moving your racket up here. So we need to work different kind of exercises, uh, making strokes from, from underneath here. Okay, so go out now. Everybody grab a shuttle, try to hit the... Uh, hey, sorry, before you do that, there's one thing that is very important. Uh, this is, of course, you know, this is a fiddle uh, shuttle, and you can have them in plastic as well. Um, it's actually easier the higher you hit the shuttle, so it's going to be easier for you. Because as you see, the shuttle is turning like this, so it's going to be easier if you just hit it a little bit higher. Because if you just go like this, it's not that easy because you're going to hit the feather. So you have to do some height and easy and calm like this. Here, this is going to be difficult. Okay? So, have a shot out and start doing
Thank you. 